Okay. Okay, I'd like to move, thank you. Okay, okay, good. Okay, because fly is nice. Um, let's fly an alternate elevator, yep. Uh, I can't make one, but I'm going to use one. Okay, I don't think it can come in vents, so I think we're good. Can't come in vents, right? Is there anything I can make? That's not useful against the alien, but there's a certain level of security. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, so there's a piece missing to the elevator which I need to use. Okay, there's people. Just kill them, and now they're dead too. So just calm down. Okay, so they just killed that guy. Let's avoid them then. I mean, the aliens definitely here. I heard it moving around. Maybe there's a chance it'll take them out. I can't believe I'm wishing for the alien to show up. Thank God, we got jumped, looters. We're trapped. Elevators out. We don't know where to look. Who the fuck requisitions androids? Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an android in the warehouse should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay, Francis out. Asshole. Should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. Huh. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can start it up and maybe it'll kill them for me? Yeah, it'll kill me. There's all kinds of noise in the vents. Oh yeah. Like that, up there now. Don't see me. I wonder why. What with the killer alien killing everyone or the androids going ballistic? That's true, some people do get away. So, what do we do now? Hold on, let me think. What did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. Good weights. I heard that weights has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Waits in the Galleria. Okay. Blowing stuff up. No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. Okay, Waits is in the Galleria. Thank you for that. I think it's safe to go up. Is he just gonna stay at... 
Okay, I think we're not alone. We can get through this. But they're at the shots. Give it a rest. Okay. So something heard the shots. That's of, of course that's that's why it's here. Okay. It's here because they fucking shot someone and it's it's in the area searching for whatever made the sound. There's no vents on the roof here. There's a vent right there, okay. Just don't pop out that vent. <laughs> Okay, um... Oh, what the hell? Oh, hello. Give me that. This whole station's got shit. Yep, yes it has. Personal error. Oops. Give me that flare. Oh, I've got max flares. Okay. Um... Shared. We are years ahead. Report, Smythe. Uh, head of s oh no, report, Smythe. Head of Synthetics Division. I just received synthetic wait, schematics for the 120A slash 8. I don't know how much we paid for... Um, I paid... Ugh, I don't know how much we paid our mall, but Stiggs and Board is going to need... a. Sh need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know it seems like old tech for uh, Wayland Italian, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen. We, we need investments. Oh, Wayland Utani are years ahead. Okay, not we. Derp. Uh, the company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. Okay. I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimation. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look up to the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Advance them out. Huh. I thought I hit it before. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a guy there. Wait. That's not a guy that's working uh, that's an android. This whole station's gone to shit. Working Joe. No, you've been assholes. You killed people. I have yet to do that. Yet. Oh, another room. Save point. Give me. Smoke bomb. Oh, I can make that. Upgraded version? You can get upgraded things? Oh. Oh, that's not a thing I need to press. Okay. Gimme. Okay, so. Uh, working Joe's spiel. Uh, Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. Uh, what do you think? Uh, spedding will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to the buzzing heart of Sevastopol Synthetic Solution. Oh, this is yeah. Okay. 
Uh, next up on your tour will be the Synthtech Spire and Apollo's core itself. But for Apollo's here. Uh, but for on a way, no, that's the Synthtech Spire. The first an example of Android self-governance. When Apollo synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe the first rollout of fully automa automated, uh, automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention, no human expertise. Okay, so you made them so they could fix themselves. Because that's a brilliant idea. An AI that controls the entire station and all of the androids, and all the androids can fix themselves. These guys were idiots. They required no human <laughs> expertise, required no costly surgical training, all data streamed directly from Apollo, and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. You guys are idiots. Russell, uh, upstairs, upstairs wants a full rundown of what we've got stacked up in the component storage. There's some useful, useful stuff in there. Some, some junk. They want uh, value estimates too. Smythe. Okay. We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but man, this feels so wrong. Oh wait, I can make a med kit. Um I can almost make a pipe bomb. I can make an EMP bomb. I can make a smoke bomb. I can make a noise maker. I can't make those. If I'm going to be alerting them, I'm going to be chucking this and running so the alien goes after them, not me. There's something under the bed. Okay, turns out I didn't need to make it go after them. It went after them anyway. Sorry about that, I just had to adjust it. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Okay, that was unpleasant. Gimme. Give Gimme, give gimme. Give Molotov! Molotov! Hello! Okay. That's the wrong button. Molotov, 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 Molotov! And I need one more compo uh, compound B. I'm saving up for a Molotov because I need a Molotov. Is there a vent in this room? There's no vent in this room. There's no vent. Okay. Just ignore it. Access the damn terminal. Error. No such file. Tomorrow, together, two. Uh, together, tomorrow. Stigson's journey through colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg. First printed Ion Siegston. Our remarkable growth. Siegenson pro uh, proved the, to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could uh, that could carry human human uh, humanity deep into space. In doing so, grew by 2066 was running a vast manufacturing plant in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and Luna. Shikla? Shikard? Wagen? Wagenton? Frontier? Whatever. Okay. Uh, by 2071, the year, uh, Sieg the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company. Its expansion rem remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked uh, on with envy as Sieg and Son became the market leaders in manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared future. Siegenson became Siegson. 
We took on the name our customers had known us by, us by for decades. And we turn to face tomorrow together. Ah, that's where that comes from. Among the stars. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sevastopol's work and Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. The Wayland Utani castoffs? If I remember right, they were a lot more advanced. I guess maybe they're like. I would say harder to control. I guess they're harder con to control. But, as in, they don't have a direct control, whether these guys are directly controlled by Apollo. So Apollo's the problem, not the working Joes. Okay. Why am I moving towards it? Yeah, I think that's where I need to go, so I'm going to go up here to see what's up here. Ooh, gimme. <sighs> okay, um... Send me that. Device invalid, lovely. Device invalid, lovely. Okay, poison gas. Especially lovely. Sorry I keep adjusting the camera, it's just that, like... I've got my laptop and I'm scared enough that I keep moving it. to use the android. Okay, so maybe I do activate him to... I don't know. Oh, there's no power. <sighs> the vent noise opening scared the shit out of me. Let's hurry up and get this done, and hopefully the alien won't end up in here. I know it's in the area, but it's... I think... I hope it... That is terrifying. One is missing. Okay, I'm hoping the alien thinks it's got everything that was here. And moves on. Wait till I've done everything in this room. But he wasn't killed by the alien. Use what? Oh! I upgraded the thing. Okay, now save. What's the bet now that I've done that, the alien shows up? It's really fucking creepy. Is it worse that the fact that there's nothing on my thing makes me more worried?
Oh, I need a key card for that one. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Oh, there's four now. Still got plenty of time. Okay, well that's going to get its attention. Yeah.